Hi guys. Um, so today, as you can tell by the title, I bought a car today. Um, it's been a really long, frustrating, long process, but not honestly, it totally could have been a longer process, but um basically let's let's talk about it. So first before we talk about kind of like the process of me getting here. Um, I want to give you guys a quick little tour of the car. I got a 2018 Kia Soul. Um, this was not the car that I was looking for, and I'll tell you all about that in a minute. But go ahead and go to Tylee Me 5 Minutes Ago when I was giving you guys a little tour. Car tour. <laughs> Okay, this is the passenger side. There's not really much about it. It's just kind of there. I really like these like, they have like these like O-ring um, looking, can you see that? Um, for that. The back seat, look. There, that's the back seat. She's a box car. I really like the box car. I think it's really cute. She's super clean right now, which I love. Hold on, I'm opening my trunk. Just because I don't want you guys to be seeing anything. Okay, this is the trunk. Super nice. What I really like about it is that it's got storage underneath. And then this lifts up to my spare tire, which is really nice. Um, and the seats go down too. Like by pulling these, the seats can go down, which I love because I feel like I don't know camping and shit. I don't know. That's kind of most of the car tour. All the fun stuff is back inside, all the way back in there. So we're gonna go back in there. Gonna show you some of the inside features, um, and then we're gonna go back to the house and put some stuff in the car, and then we're gonna talk about stuff. Go back to indoor Tylee. For the inside, um, I'm set up pretty close to the steering wheel right now, but it's got this lever that lifts me up and then this lever that lifts me back. Oh my god, why am I stuttering? Anyway, like I said, these O-ring ones, I really like those. And then I'll show you that when the car is on, but here, I'll turn the car on. So, um, when I plug in my phone, I get um, Apple CarPlay right here. There is, in fact, a backup camera. Um, I like this little, like, more of a ball-looking one. Um, I like having all of these buttons here. My Subaru did have buttons, but I just feel like these ones are a little bit nicer, and I this one does have call buttons, which I feel like, obviously, my Subaru did not have. And we've got all these buttons and mechanisms right here, which I think are fun, like this one. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what's happening. It's really cute. I really like it. Um, we're gonna go back to my house real quick. BRB. Hi guys. Um, I don't know how, but I really want to set up a way that I can do car vlogs. But I don't want to get in trouble with the feds. But I just wanted to kind of like say that this car drives so smoothly and I'm so unbelievably happy to like finally have a car that like does not sound crazy when I drive it and it works really nicely okay we're back welcome back so um yeah as i was kind of showing you i got a 2018 kia soul she's so cute i love her but i did in fact go into the dealership looking for a um honda fit i was told that hondas were really good i was like hey i want a honda fit i want that's what i'm looking for 
they did not have the Honda Fit that I was looking for at that location, so they showed me this Kia. And at first I was kind of like, ooh, because my sister told me that boxcars were ugly. And I honestly love boxcars, though. I think they're super cute. I was like, oh my god, that car is super cute. I really like it. Took it for a little test drive. I honestly like it. I love it a lot. It's, in my opinion, it's significantly bigger than my Subaru. Um, sorry if I'm glowing, guys. It's hot as balls in here, but I don't want the AC to ruin the sound quality of this video. But, anyways, so I... When looking for that, um, the dealership guy's name is Dallin, but he was super, super helpful, and he showed they showed me this Kia, and I was like, this is super cute, took it for a trust drive, I was like, I love it, it's better in my price range, it's good, whatever, um, I also want to point out that I did not actually buy this car, I financed it, so I will be doing monthly payments, I have a 45 day grace period, and I will be starting monthly payments on it in September, I'm so thankful for all of the help that I was able to get at the dealership because I was very stressed out. So for back of context without being too in my personal life, um I my as I kind of mentioned before because I got a bunch of stuff from my grandma's yard sale, my grandma's house was sold recently. It was like officially sold. Um and I asked my dad, I was like, hey could you give me a thousand bucks for a down payment on the car or use it to pay off some of my like medical debts or whatever but I ended up using it on the down payment payment for this car um things were being so frustrating because they the people that give the money from the house were just like we're overnighting it and then it took too long blah 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 long story short is I saw this car on Saturday and I didn't get it until today I was I should have I could have gotten it yesterday but I worked two jobs and I was really like jam-packed with working and I was working the same amount of hours that they were open so I was not going to be able to make it there. So I went and got it this morning. Um, yeah, it took a long time. I had to like switch insurances. I Well, I canceled my insurance once and then I ended up back with the same insurance people that I was with before and it was just a whole frustrating process and I would honestly say when it comes to buying a car or like financing a car I don't even know if I have any advice because it was like so unbelievably stressful and frustrating but I'm just happy to be here I'm just happy to have the car I feel like now I'm gonna feel so much better and we're gonna do it but I don't really have much else to say about it other than I'm happy to have the car now Oh, let me tell you, let me tell you. So my car, my, my Subi, my white Subi, not this one, my white Subi. I don't have a name for that Subi, but I want to name this one. I don't know what yet, but she does not belong to me apparently, which is weird because it's sitting in, you know, it's over there. I see it. I can go walk over to it right now. I... For some reason, the white Subaru is not in my name for some reason. Um, I don't know how, but the title, like my name, like my name's not on the title. Even though I got the car registered for a year and a half, at least a year and a half, like it was registered. And my registration expired, and I didn't realize, and I got pulled over, and I was like, what? And they were like, oh my god, and I was like, okay. So I went to the dealership, and then they were like, they were like, how's that in your name? That's super weird. Let me get you a temporary. Had a temporary for a month, and then when I went back to a different DMV, he was like, you have to have a police officer look at it and verify the pin and you have to get all this information and put it on this fancy packet and you have to take pictures and whatnot and whatnot in order to prove that I have the car. I already wanted a new car. I already wanted to get a brand new car. I've been wanting this for a very long time because that car is just old and makes me upset. But that happened, it was really frustrating and it kind of sped up this process with my Kia. Um, quite a bit because I was like, okay, now I have to get a new car. Now I have to get a loan for a car. Now I have to do that because that, I don't know how long that's going to take me to figure out because I don't know what information my dad knows and what information I know. And I don't know who 
knows what, and I just don't think it's gonna happen as soon as I need. Plus, I wanted a new car anyways. So, if you wanna know what's happening with the Subi, she will be figured out eventually. We will get her back in my name or my mother's name or something, one of our names, I don't know. And then we're gonna give the car to my sister because she is going to be turning, she's not turning, she's getting her license soon, like in a couple of days, she's supposed to be taking that test. And that reminds me of something I have to check on. But anyway, she's gonna be getting her license soon. So that's gonna be happening with the Subi. Yeah. There is a sunglass holder in here. <gasps> you guys. Okay, no sunglass alert. Like, these are clean, too. These are, like, super clean. Like, do they come with the car? I don't feel like that's how that works. But I just found them in here. I can't decide if I want to decorate the car at all. I think I might make a TikTok and crochet something. Try to crochet something for my little windshield here. But I feel like... Tell me know in the comments. But I feel like I don't want to put my tassels in here. I had my high school tassel in my Subi. Entirety of high school of college. It was two years. And then I added my college tassel when I graduated. So that's been in there for like three months. But a part of me is like, okay, we're embarking on a new journey. Are we still in tassel era? Or are we going to move on and maybe crochet something? Maybe bead something for right there? I don't know. Because I feel like I like having like a little dangle something. But yeah, I don't really want to decorate this car too much. I want to keep it as clean as... Okay. I... A bestie texted me and said she was sick. And I was like, girl, what? She doesn't live in Utah anymore. If you didn't know that already. She does not live in Utah. But... Miss her. Miss her with my whole heart and soul. Anyways, she... Oh my god. So yeah, anyway, bestie... Bestie Gigi moved away. We already knew that information, obviously. I think I told you guys. But she has a box car. Not a Kia, but she has... A Honda Element and anyway we're just I'm a fellow boxcar girly now two baddies with boxcars is a really fun time um yeah I don't really want to decorate too much so I'm just kind of like showing you guys the car and just giving you the update with it but I don't really want to decorate it so if you guys want to maybe I'll crochet something now I don't know if I crochet something now then let's go do that normal rhythm same thing happened shower say pretty okay guys so that's the end of this um hope you guys liked it give it a thumbs up subscribe um we hit 500 subscribers and now we've almost hit 550 subscribers so i'm feeling really really thankful and blessed for all the subscribers that have been um doing because my most recent video actually blew up i got uh, like 8,000 views already and I'm really thankful for all the subscribers that it's brought me. So please, please keep watching. Subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what any other videos I should do. I'm working on a house tour. I just want to do it when my boyfriend's home so he can help me film it. And like be my cameraman. So it's kind of been a little bit treacherous. And I also want the place to be clean. So i got to like really deep clean. I don't know. I might film like a deep clean with me video. And then like a house tour. We'll see. Um, but I got a bunch of other video ideas I love to do with you guys. I'm sorry I'm so, so busy, but I'm trying to pump out videos as often as I humanly possibly can. And I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!